Acer's R11 Chromebook is a versatile four-mode laptop running Chrome OS and featuring a quad-core Intel processor and a touchscreen IPS display. This review is based on my impressions of this device after 30 days, based on a purchase I made with my own funds. No compensation was provided in exchange for this review. From an aesthetic standpoint, the R11 doesn't do much to innovate. Echoing the flat, white, rectangular slab appearance Acer used in its Chromebook 11 and Chromebook 13 designs. While the hinge itself is reinforced, there is a visible gap around the edges of the device when closed that makes it feel a little less sturdy than the C720 and C740. The lid has a smooth metallic weave, which looks nice enough, but the general feel of the R11 is that of a device made from budget components. However, it is one that you can tell was made competently and should be able to survive routine use and abuse. The R11 features Acer's standard I.O. with two USB ports, one 3.0 and one 2.0, HDMI out, an SD card slot that thankfully allows full insertion of the card, and a combo microphone headphone jack. It comes standard with 2GB of RAM and 32GB of storage for $279.99 US, or you can step up to a 4GB of RAM version for $329.99 US. Battery life comes in around 8 hours for mixed use, web browsing, streaming music, and watching videos. Opening up this Chromebook, the major improvement here compared to the C720 and Chromebook 11 becomes obvious, the display. This is a glossy 1366 by 768 IPS touchscreen panel, so while it isn't face-meltingly gorgeous, it is a massive step up from the dim, muted panel on the C720 and C740. As a touchscreen, it is responsive and works pretty well. As is common with a glossy display, there's a lot of reflection in this display. The keyboard is comfortable to type on, but the trackpad is a little bit below my expectations. It isn't a terrible trackpad, but the bar for trackpads on Chromebooks has actually been very high, and this one feels a little less comfortable to click on than I'm used to with these devices. The speakers are typical down-firing laptop speakers, but they get reasonably loud, much louder than the ASUS Chromebook Flip. Powering the R11 is Intel's quad-core N3150 Celeron, part of the Braswell generation. I found that this processor performs quite a bit better than the dual-core N3050 that's in a lot of the new budget Windows laptops and Chromebooks. It may not show in the benchmarks, but the quad-core version here handles web browsing significantly better than laptops like the HP Stream 11 or Acer Cloudbook series. Sites heavy with ads will lag briefly while rendering, but in general, websites load and scroll quickly, and running up to a half dozen tabs is no problem for this device. I was able to stream YouTube videos in HD while writing a document in Google Docs without any problems. The R11's major trick is its 360 degree hinge, which allows for multiple use modes paired with its touchscreen display. This is ideal for consuming media, where the R11 can work like a tablet, and for running presentations or viewing photos. The R11 is somewhat like a larger version of the ASUS Chromebook Flip. But whereas that device made a pretty good Chrome OS tablet, but only a so-so Chromebook due to its small keyboard, the R11 makes a pretty good regular Chromebook, but a so-so version of anything else due to its much larger size and weight. It is worth noting that this Chromebook is actually a great choice for those looking to use Crouton. The Braswell processor handles Ubuntu pretty well, and the graphics performance here is much better than on older Bay Trail devices. The inclusion of 32 gigabytes of storage as standard also provides some breathing room for your Crouton install. Crouton enables the use of Firefox, LibreOffice, Steam, Minecraft, and so on. My overall feeling on the R11 is positive, with some reservations about the cost. It offers decent performance paired with a good, full-size keyboard and a vibrant, glossy IPS touchscreen display. Acer also nailed some of the smaller touches here, like the full-size SD card slot and the 32GB of local storage. While their performance here is on par with other budget devices, like the Chromebook Flip, the performance of the R11 does lag behind the Toshiba Chromebook 2 2015 and even the much older C720P that it's meant to replace. Ultimately, I feel that the market for people looking for this device's specific strengths may not be all that large. Many consumers will be better served by the ASUS C201 superior battery life and smaller size, or the Chromebook Flip's better portability and lower price or even the Toshiba Chromebook 2's higher resolution display and much better performance. But if you're specifically looking for an Intel-powered 11-inch Chromebook with a good IPS display, the R11 may fit your needs, and it is worth a look.
This has been Voltron 00X reviewing the Acer R11 Chromebook. If you enjoyed this video, a like is always greatly appreciated. A purchase link for the R11 is provided in the description for this video, and buying through that link supports me as a creator and helps me to continue making these videos. As always, thanks for watching and stay safe out there. Thank you.